Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an, a small form factor a little bit uh, HP laptop. This one is an HP Spectre XT or how, however you want to say the name. Spectre XT. This one comes with an iCore 5 4 gig RAM. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to replace the uh, RAM or upgrade your RAM for this model. A client brought it in and so we're going to open it up and we're going to upgrade the RAM or replace the RAM. Alright, first thing you need to do is power off the uh, laptop completely and obviously I'm seeing uh, we are missing a screw in the middle. It's not a big deal. So there's one less screw we have to remove in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab our screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set which are one of the best screwdrivers out there as they have an S2 class steel, which are really suitable to opening electronics. We're gonna take a Phillips number one, and we're gonna start removing all the screws on the bottom cover, starting from the corner side. Right, the back ends are a little longer screws, the front ends are the shorter one, I believe, so keep them in a different pile. Also, I realized that there is only one person of my viewers are subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it if you guys click that like button and subscribe to my channel. It will be a really great, tremendous help and support. Obviously, if you find my content useful. And I was right. The front screws are a little bit shorter than the mid toward the back. So the only short screws are the front end of the laptop. I have no idea why there is a decoloration on this end. but. I'm guessing they didn't put in a bag for a long time. Well, right, next thing you need is a screwdriver uh, opening tool. We're going to be using a, a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick, which is a soft edges. It's really useful to opening electronics. What do you want to do? You're gonna, first, you want to locate the audio jack, which is right over here. So we're going to start it from this end. So open up the laptop a little bit. No, we're going to start from the opposite side from here. So we're gonna start right from where the HDMI cables uh, entrance is. So you wanna stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover right there. And you just wanna loosen it up, okay? So loosen this part up, just stick it right there. And just twist, go in the front end. Again, to the front side. Come all the way to the corner. Once you see it's loosened up, you should be able to lift it up right here. You want to grab it, do the back end if you find it necessary. If not, don't. Go back here, do some moving around. Make sure you hear those clicks. Once you got the side open, just bring it up and push it towards the audio jack so you can release this pen from here. Otherwise, you're going to break this part. This is the bottom cover, bottom chassis. And down here, Guess what? This laptop doesn't have the RAM in changeable, so the RAMs on this one is not exchangeable. They come soldered on the board on this side of the board, which are right under these plates. So the RAMs in this one is soldered on the board, and it is unfortunately not upgradable. So if you got the 4 gig or 8 gig version, you are stuck with it, so there's nothing we can do in this at this point. I am sad to see this that they done this with this kind of iCore 5 processor. You have an SSD drive, but unfortunately, first hand you guys can see that the RAMs are not exposed or available to replace. So we're gonna cut this video really short and we're gonna put it back together and at least for those people that keep asking me why I cannot upgrade the RAM, even if you on your task manager, it shows one out of two available. But in reality, there is no RAM dims available on this motherboard. The Windows will always tell you eh, that there is some dim available. All right, to put the bottom cover in, make sure you first stick the audio jack side down first and bring it over. Just twist, push down the corners back, make sure you do those tiny clicks. And the last thing would be to just grab the shortest screw, put it in the front end, 
and the longest screw from the mid towards the back. I hope this video helped you guys out to understand that you cannot actually upgrade your RAM. So you don't need to open your laptop. I do that for you guys so you guys don't have to open yours. Again, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting the screws back in.